welcome to round 1 of SCR Race to the End of the Line. This game is based off of a video series from Jet Lag the Game, but adapted into SCR. The objective of the game is to go from the start of the express lines, which is Stepford Central, to the end of the express lines, which is Lynn by the Sea, in as little time as possible. There will be challenges scattered across the restricted map, and players must complete the challenges in a way to unlock the section ahead of them and to earn coins. By earning coins, racers can buy items from the shop that will help them in getting to Lynn by the Sea faster. Teams have the ability to ask where the other team is but not anything else at any time as many times as they want, with an exception. If a team despawns or goes outside of the game borders, they must reset to Stepford Central. Commands and cheating of any kind are not allowed. Trespassing, however, is allowed. There will be two teams, a red team and a blue team. Both teams will have one player, called a racer. Additionally, each team will have one personal driver that must drive them wherever the racer requests. They must drive the fastest train on their operator, unless they don't have it, and must drive on the routes that are allowed for this game, since there are restricted routes. The teams will be as follows, on the blue team, daily dose of transport games will be the racer, and Cat will be the personal driver. On the red team, Mr. Yumiu59 will be the racer and Finley will be the personal driver. This game will be hosted in a private server, in a restricted map. That means that racers are only allowed to go to places within the map, and if racers go out of the restrictions, which are highlighted in the red stripes, they must reset to Stepford Central. However, the following depots that are outside of the restrictions that drivers can spawn at are Beachley Sidings and Benton Sidings. As previously stated, there will be challenges on some stations that teams must complete to unlock the route ahead. Only the racer on a team is required to complete any challenge, and each challenge is different, which yields different rewards and veto times. If a team cannot complete a challenge, they may veto it for a penalty and declare that challenge vetoed for their team. If another team wants to attempt it, they can attempt the challenge just like the first team to try it. If a team does complete it, they will gain a coin reward that they can use in the shop to buy items and effects, but they must announce the completion of the challenge to the general chat so the other team knows of the change. Challenges are the same for both teams, and if one team completes a challenge ahead of another, the latter team does not need to re-complete it to move forward. Teams may not skip stations with challenges, with an exception at Leighton West. To win the game, a team must complete the challenge at Lynn by the Sea. There are a bunch of other rules, but it would be too time-consuming to list them all, so they won't be said until they are relevant. Before I begin, I'd like to mention some reminders. If you have any feedback or suggestions about the video quality, music, or idea, don't hesitate to drop a comment below or DM me on Discord. Additionally, if you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking the video, as it helps my community grow, which makes video production easier. Thanks in advance. Well, that's all I have to say before we begin, so enjoy the game. Stepford Central Reward, 5 coins Veto, 5 minutes Touch the platform 9 and 3 quarters easter egg underneath Stepford Central
50, 60, Stepford Connect, service to Edgemead, calling at Stepford East, St. Helens Bridge, Bowdoin, Coxley, Hampton, Hampton Bridge, Hampton Margate, Wilton Mountain, Rocket Parade, Leighton, Stepford Road, Leighton City, and Edgemead. Stepford East. Reward 10 coins. Vita 5 minutes. Walk to Stepford High Street Station and back. St. Helens Bridge. Reward 20 coins. Peter, 10 minutes. Visit every platform. This train is formed of five coaches. So basically, this next bit is quite boring, as the blue team managed to complete the Bowdoin challenge which was to touch the mayor of Bowdoin statue and make it past Huxley to Benton, and the red team had to wait for Finley to arrive, get to Stepford East, and then to St. Helens Bridge, when this happened.
Benton. Reward, 10 coins. Veto, 10 minutes. Walk to West Benton Station and back. Benton Bridge. Hampton Hargate. Wharton Newton. Rocket Parade. Leighton, Stepford Road. Leighton City. Benton Bridge. Reward, 20 coins. Veto, 5 coins. Jump in place 50 times. Essentially, a roadblock is a power-up in the shop that can be bought using coins to slow down the opposing team. It costs 20 coins and enables a team to place a challenge which is determined by the challenge wheel off camera at the station that team is currently at. Challenges at a station may stack and the challenge place does not yield a reward to the other team. If a team is placing this item down, they must inform the general chat so the other team knows about this change. Hampton Hargate. Reward, 10 coins. Veto, 5 minutes. Touch the class 377 at Hampton Hargate Depot. 